Hello guys, welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, I am going to solve question 3 of 2013 ISC practical question paper. Okay, so I have this question in front of me. It says a palindrome is a word that may be read the same way in either direction. We all know that. And then it says a set is in upper case which is terminated by this, this or this. Okay, each word of the sentence is separated by a single blank space. Okay, perform the following task. Display the count of palindromic words and display the palindromic words in the sentence. Okay, so uh, it, it does not say that you have to check for this end character because in the sample input, okay, so in the sample input, there is nothing uh, which is not one of these. So, you so again, a question arises if, if the sentence does not end, end with one of these three. So what should you do in that case? So in that case, go with your gut feeling. I will just print invalid input does not end with this, this or this character. Okay. And if you are practicing this, it's it's a good example where you can ask your tutor or your teacher on how to go about these things when you encounter them in the question paper. You can ask your invigilator in the, if you are in the exam or things like this. You can go with the gut feeling, go with what you feel is correct. And uh, then it says count palindromics or and show palindromic words. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So let me. Okay, there's one thing you need to keep in mind when you have noon here. So this full stop comes with this word noon. So make sure that this is removed and then for the and this then this is checked for palindrome. So the program is clear to me. I am assuming that if the sentence does not end with either of these three, then I'm going to display an error message. Okay, so I'm going to get coding now. The main method. Public static void main string args and okay scanner we from the I'm going to use a scanner object to use input from the user. I will have to import the scanner class Java dot dot scan. Okay, and okay. So all I need is a sentence string sentence is equal to scanner dot next line. So you can use buffer reader or data input string whichever you way you want it. Okay, now I need to check. Okay, I'll write a different method to check if a word is palindrome or not. Check if this word is palindrome or not. Okay. Static void is palindrome string oh, string word. So check for int i is equals to zero, i is less than word dot length by 2 i plus plus if this if the character at ith position is not equal to character at length minus i minus 1 then return false if word dot caret of i is not equal to one dot caret of four dot length minus i minus one else else if none of those things are true so Okay, and my method checks for palindrome. Okay, so after I read the sentence, I check if it ends with. Okay, so if sentence dot caret sentence dot length minus one equals to or push 
question mark okay so there is no sample case where the last character is none of question mark exclamation or the full stop so i am going i'm adding this check i'm adding this check because the question tells you to uh, take a valid input which ends with either of these three so if the input is none of those so i'm going to uh i'm going to uh, show an appropriate message so let okay system out of print ln does not end with this this or this okay and return okay okay this is not needed okay now get the words from the sentence string words i'm going to use a simple split method that will give me all the words split okay and count and print so int count value row is equals to zero iterate the list of words and check for int i is equals to zero i will make words dot length i plus plus if this is a palindrome so what is to be printed first palindrome or oh palindromes and number of palindrome of course so if so first i'm going to make a check that if it is not the last last word because i'll have to check for this last character full stop so if i is not equal to if i not equal to word dot length minus one. So check this is pending row. If is palindrome words of I, I am going to print this system not out dot print words of I and I will add a space after that. Okay else check if this is not the password if this is the last word I'm going to remove, remove the last character so words of i is equals to words of i dot substring words of i dot length this one so substring as you know gives me two strings give me a, the substring of a given string between two indices so i start with the first the very first index and i go till the second last index okay and check value control so if is palindrome then I print it and also with this increment the count so count palindrome plus plus okay and for loop closes okay now print the number of if if count palindrome is equal to zero, so in case there are no palindromic words, no palindromic words. Out of 
That is the reason of adding a change line. So my code is done. I'm going to compile and check it. Let me go to the test case. Let I compile. So Java C. I would say is it going to return false. Somewhere I did an error. Oh. Okay. And Java. Okay. My first sentence is mom and dad are coming at me. Mom and that are coming at noon. Mom, dad, noon, and number of palindromic words three. And then it is Nitin Arora use his little so. Nitin Arora uses little so. Nitin Arora, Arora, little and three. Okay, now, now I'll enter something else. How? The third test case. R B. So the third test case and no palindromic words. And one more thing, I'll check how how is this happening? Whatever. And I add a comma at the end, or maybe comma at the end. So input does not end with this. This. So this is not a sample case that has been given in the question, but I've added this just for clarity because the question mentions that you have to accept an input which ends with uh, full stop, question mark or exclamation. Okay. So my purpose of adding this extra change in line here was because when these words are being printed, when these palindromic words are being printed, they are there is no change line. You have printed word, the word is printed, then a space after it, it is printed. So word space, word space, word space. So there is no place where the line is changing. So just to make sure that I line, change the line before I print the number of palindromic words, I'm adding this. So I've removed this change line and I'll go back and compile and run again. So I'll go with this open order. So you see, neither another really number and it came in the same line. So I will just put back this, compile again, run again, and I have this answer. So my code works just fine and I hope this video was helpful and if you people found this helpful please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.